Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. business, Mrs. Uh, Appeal. I'm interested in karate. Interest is for the onlooker. Well, I, pr- I appreciate that. Then <laughs> appreciate to Mrs. Peel that karate, unlike judo, is not a sport. It is a science, an art, a discipline. The word karate... Yes, I know. It means empty hands. But the hands, though empty can become more deadly than any weapon. Some of my students can split a roof tile with one finger. And one, whom we call Oyama, the tall mountain, can shutter a door with a single stroke. How interesting. So you see that it is difficult for a woman to compete in such company. It's the idea of the competition that appeals to me. Then I suggest that perhaps Fencing would be more suitable to your purpose. Oh, forgive me if I disagree, Mr... Uh... Here, I am known as Sensei, the knowledgeable one. This is Oyuka. And Oyuka means? The immovable one. Oyuka, this is Mrs. Emma Peel. How do you do? Mrs. Peel is leaving us now. Oh, what a pity. I'm interested to know that you don't encourage women. Um, presumably, Ayuka is an expert in karate? I am a third dan of judo. Oh, a first at karate. There are few men who could pass me if I didn't wish them to. And few women? No other women. Oh, to me that sounds just the teeny weeniest bit like a challenge. I should not try it, Obaki. Obaki? It means foolish one. Mrs. Peel is invited to try. I'd never be able to resist a straight fight. woman, but she has the skill of a man. A bad mistake, Oyuka. Oyuka, the immovable one. You should rename her, I think. What's Japanese for amateur? Anyone know?
Sidney. I uh, represent industrial development. Uh, yes, sir? Uh, Mr. Tusama is expecting me. A uh, three o'clock appointment? Oh, yes. Please be seated, Mr. Lambert. Ah, well, I'm afraid I'm not, Mr. Lambert. John Steed. Uh, Mr. Lambert is regrettably indisposed. Mr. Tusama? Yes. Mr. Lambert is indisposed. Mr. John Steed is here from industrial development. Please, ask him to come in. You may go in, Mr. Steed. The door is the glass panel with the black dragon on it, Mr. Steed. Oh, yes, of course. I suppose I should have guessed. Uh, thank you. Ah, Mr. Steed. Do come in. Please to be seated. Thank you. You will forgive briefness of meeting. Time is short and there are many representatives. Oh, I do understand. You are acquainted with our recent development? Well, I'm aware that you've produced a new circuit element to replace the transistor, and I'm here to negotiate the rights for concession. This heralds a new age, Mr. Steed. Computers no bigger than a matchbox. Pocket television. Radio smaller than a wristwatch. You have a worldwide patent? Hardly necessary. The manufacture of the element is complex and would require capital outlay of 50 millions. So the concession will go to whichever company offers you the largest price of profit. I suppose it's pointless to ask what offers you had already. <laughs> Regret that other competitors cannot be disclosed. Ah, well, naturally I shall have to consult my board, but I'm sure our offer will be favorable. Well, you'll be hearing from a short Mr. Tosano. Goodbye. Thank you. This way out, please. Goodbye. Swallow the cream, Mr. Peel. Hmm? What's that, Steve? Well, you look positively smug. Mm -hmm. Not really. Just a petty minor triumph. Bigger things to come, I hope. How are things with you? Well, come into the kitchen, I'll show you. Interesting. A list of names and firms. 2.15 p.m. commercial imports. 2.30 p.m. electrical industries. 2.45 p.m. United Automation, 3 p.m. Industrial Developments, 3.15 p.m. Jeff Good Products Limited, 3.30 Auto Engineering. Mm, yes, and victim number one was Carlson, negotiator for commercial imports, 2. Denham, Auto Engineering, 3. Hammond, Electrical Industries, 4. Lambert, Industrial Developments. But if you kill off one negotiator, they replace him with another. No, it's not so easy. There's a lot of paperwork, meetings, discussions, and Tassana's only in London for 36 hours. Let me see that list again. We're left with Jeff Cup Products and United Automation. Any preference, Mrs. P? Hmm. I think I'll take Jeff Cup Products. It doesn't sound so, well, so automatic as United Automation, does it, Steve? How did you get on with the karate mob? Oh, I made out all right. They'll soon be having to find a Japanese name for me. I'm learning fast. Mm, going through with it? Mm -hmm. How often do they get together? Nightly. Is there a list of members? Well, that wouldn't help. They all have these wretched pseudonyms. I dealt with Oyoka, the immovable one, who was quickly removed. I can't wait to meet Oyama, the tall mountain. Oh, come now, Mrs. B. What's he got that I haven't? A hobby. Uh, you mean photography, like this? No, splitting down doors. Mm, destructive. Very, very cute. Everyone's true moves at that particular model, Miss, uh, uh, Mrs. 
This is Emma Peel. Ah, yes, Mrs. Peel. So pleased to meet you. Thank you. What are these retailers? The four pounds. Mm -hmm. Not terms um, very favorable with orders above a gross. Well, I'm certainly taken with all the range, but I would like a word with Mr. Jeffries. Ah, and how lucky you are. Oh, here he is now. How do you do? How do you do? Sorry if I've kept you. Uh, Mrs. Emma Peel, Mr. Jeffcott. If you'll just excuse me now. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, no, Mrs. Peel. I gather that you uh, represent the Goringer store. Yes. We just opened a toy department. Well, I'm sure we can find plenty to interest you. We've no equals in the field of electronic toys. These, for instance. Oh, here's something we're all very proud of. It comes when it's called. Go on, try it. Oh, all right. Here. Here, boy. Come here. It's walking towards me. I'm marvelous. Uh, of course, novelties are only a fraction of our business. We produce everything from tea makers to radar equipment. And with the new advance in electronics, we've lots more ideas on the drawing board. And uh, now will you excuse me? I'm awfully sorry, but I'm afraid I have an appointment. Oh, not to worry, because curiously enough, so am I. I hope we shall see you again. Oh, I'm sure you will, Mr. Jasper. of Tana Shawari by a student of whom I am truly proud. A fifth done at Judo, a fourth done at Karate. Oyama is an example of what can be achieved through practice and dedication. I give you Oyama.